Good evening and welcome to the Daily Stock Market Update. Today is 9 November 2021. The DSCX returned to positive territory today and gained 68.45 points or 1.01% and settled at 6,868 points. Market turnover was 10.08 billion taka, which is a decrease of 6.27% compared to the previous trading day. Square Pharma, Beximco Pharma and Beacon Pharma from the pharmaceutical sector, Lafarge Holcim from the cement sector and GPH Spath, Beximco and BSRM Steel from the industrial sector helped the market rebound strongly after a first two-day losing streak of this week. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector posted the highest gain of 5.40% while the non-banking financial sector registered the second highest gain of 2.71%. On the other hand, hand, the food and light sector posted the highest loss of 0.59%. Five industrial companies and four textile companies were among the top 20 gainers. National Housing Finance, Shena Kollan Insurance and AFC Agrobiotech posted the highest gain today, while Aziz Pipes, Alif Manufacturing and Jude Spinners were the top losers. Shena Kollan Insurance recently made its debut in the market and continued to rally. Aziz Pipes' price also fell since it declared a factory shutdown. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for other stocks. The trading volume of Golden Sun, Hamid Fabrics and Prime Textile Spinning Mills increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Investors showed interest in all three stocks as these companies recently declared their board meeting dates. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the remaining stock. Today's top two news. Rising prices of global commodities have resulted in a 47.59% increase in import costs in the first quarter of the current fiscal year, which in turn has caused the country's trade deficit to triple year-on-year. Year. In addition, the recent downward trend in inward remittances has been exerting downward pressure on the current account balance, and this is likely to continue in the coming months. Leaders of the truck, lorry, covered van owners and workers' association have decided to halt the transport strike as all of their three-point demands were assured to be met. As a result, the backlogs in the country's supply chain network are expected to get back in a routine cycle after the 88 hours of strike. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow at the same time. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like what you hear, then share this video with your friends, family and loved ones. Also, let us know what type of content you would like to see from us other than the news in the comment section. Thank you.